going into the final set there, you've dominated two sets 3-0, you've lost some 3-2. I mean, was there a little bit of you that was worried, oh, I, could, I could lose this having won loads more legs than it? When I lost the first set, I was a bit worried I was going to lose it, so um, I just thought break him. Um, he won the first leg, did he? He won the first leg of last set. And then I broke him in the third to go two and up and I held my own. I was like, what did I go two and up? I don't know, I can't remember to be you honest. But to. I was more worried about throwing away the first set on double 14 when he was, he, he, he did give me the first leg and then I went two and up, but I was two and up and you should never really lose some two and up in your own head. But double 14 was, uh, and he held his own, he, I missed the 170, 170 for the, for the set. And I was like, but <laughs> I was just so happy to win that game. But. I, to be fair, he'd like my draw and I'd liked his draw. You know, we bounce. You know, he, he'd expect to win. I'd expect to win. It was it was like a clash in the middle. So it was a game which didn't seem to make a great deal of sense. You played some really good. Both of you played some really good stuff, and then some pretty average stuff. And it was just up and down all the way through. My practice starts was unreal until I went for the ball. I was hitting one eighties of fun. I thought I was going to hit a couple of nine darters, but went up on the stage and was shaking like a leaf. I was like, oh, where did this come from? Yeah. And I, I was ready for it, and I, I thought I was up there early on it, 180 on the stage, when you know, had a pitch on the stage. But I was like, oh. but I was like, I just don't, just win a set. Once I won the second set, I was like, yeah, come on in. You know, he's beating himself up. I'm, I'm trying to compose myself, but he's beating himself. He's rattling his darts, really dumb head in. But he set the ball in the second break. I was like, he rat, he's rat, and he, he said he could hear it, but it doesn't matter. But it's one of those in there. So. Were you able to enjoy your debut in the Millwall World Championship? Now I have, yeah. But no, I did enjoy it. You know, I probably lost first round and I've got to Ali Pali. You know, my dream is to play. I played Lakeside and, you know, O2, but Ali Pali with all the big guns. And I know I'm quite good and I've beaten a few good players along the tour to get in last minute. I just seem to do everything last minute. Like, <laughs> probably end up winning every game last set. But um, I did enjoy it. But at the end of the day, I knew I could have won, so it was a bit stressful. So the next game, I'm capable. I think I can win again. So. Maybe I'll, I'll stress out again and hopefully I'll just play my game. I, I didn't play the best there. I don't know what the averages was, or but I know I was in consistently good, which is all right. But Where do you assess your career right now? You played a lot of PDC youth stuff, then you went to the BDO, you got on the PDC tour at the start of this year. And as you say, there have been some good games, there have been some, some good days on the tour, but it's, it's still a work in progress, isn't it? When I seem to win one game, I seem to win a few, so that, that's the plan. Um, I went on an eight day streak of losing first round and I had new darts, got the new arrows, but I beat, um, I think it was Devon first round. I've had a lot of bad draws, well, not so fortunate draws, because no, no one is easy. But I beat him and I beat James and Simon and then I was like, next, next, I think it was a grand slam, I've beaten three of the four semi finalists this year and I'm like, you know, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, you haven't done nothing really, but I, had a, I should have beat Van Gogh in the semis, but you know, I, once I win one, I can I can start kicking on a bit. But you know, it's just doing it and getting up there. But now I'm relaxed. Now I've I've, I've what's the word? I've gone above my expect people's expectation. My expectation was probably win that. My expectation's high, but you know, I'm in the tournament now. Where I've never won a, a game in a world championship before, so I'm really happy. Congrats, well played. Thanks, Nick. You said day on on day. What was it like coming up that hill for the first time, seeing the palace on top of it? I was a bit gutted he couldn't go outside and take a picture of London. <laughs> to be fair, I was like, whoa. You, you know, you don't need to go on the London night to see London. Just come to Muswell Hill. That's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, Muswell Hill. But yeah, I was like, oh, look at this. And I was like, I'm about one run up, I won't run up here. And I was like, I've, I've got into my running this year. I won't run up this hill. I have a bad back. But um, yeah, amazing. This place is huge. I'm like, whoa. We are, we, obviously, we had a tour before. And I was like, oh, it's, it's, it's just dope. this place is new to me. I've been everywhere. But, you know, it, it must be another another end of it where it's just like whoa. But yeah, this is huge. Like, and I'm just a little bit disappointed. There's no crowd, but maybe I have a loss of a crowd. So I don't really care. Touch on it. Is it a little bit daunting coming here for the first time? Then the, the, the size of everything here. To be fair, I, I, I think I put it on social media. I'm not going to be able to go there before my game. So I was like, oh, how big is this place? But in the back room there, I was so chill. You no. Know, you know, I had a nice practice, you know, I was chilling out with my manager and Porter, you know, my friends and I was just like, yeah, just play your game and it just went to pot in the first set and I was like, big five, big five, I was like, <laughs> but yeah, it, was, it's, it is a little bit daunting, but you're playing these players all the time, you know, it just, and the, the, I thought the crowd noise was going to be a little bit louder and it, it wasn't, so at least I'll be used to it for the second game. 
talking about that second game, now that you've played once on that stage, do you think we'll see a completely different view because you know everything and what it's all about? I think, but I don't know that's going to happen. <laughs> you know, I can relax now and uh, I know what it's all about. I know what, how to do it again, the preparation, but you never know with that. It's just all on the day. So I'm just so happy to win that game. But, you know, I could have averaged 100 a day and lost and I could have averaged 70 and won. I'm just happy to win. So happy. Well, starts. Has it ever been in a better place? No. We've seen all you guys here producing. Jamie Lewis is somewhere near his best again. Obviously yourself, Gezi, um, Johnny, the, the list goes on. Has it ever been in a better place? No, to be fair, I think Gezi's the best in the world. I've been practicing him all year. He's so good. And he's got that belief that he just doesn't give a monkeys about anything. He's just like, yeah, whatever. You know, if I play my game, I'll win. Which is what I think deep down. Um, him and Johnny, Johnny was needed to win the World Cup. Jamie, you know, he's had a, a struggle this year and two eleven darters back to back win his game. I was listening on the radio on Talksport with Paul Nicholson was on there and I was like, Oof, that's how much that's how much bottle and that's how much, that's how good he is. Well, we seen him the other year. He probably should have been tuning up on Taylor when three, was it three years ago, two thousand eighteen? He should have been he should have been tuning up on Taylor in, in his last ever you know, Taylor's last ever person he's ever beat. Yeah. And and there's a lot of players locally who no one would even know, like who were really good. So hopefully a few of them, if, if Q School is on, we'll, we'll get through and we'll have more on the tour. Pleasure, Nick, as always. Congratulations. No worries. Thanks, Phil. Nick, you touched on it with Dan. Um, it's your, your first win in a World Championship, whatever code that is. Is that, is that a bit of a monkey off your back in, in terms of your career? Yeah, definitely. Um, PDC is the place to be, no doubt about it. Um, it's just like, yeah, I just like give yourself a chance and I went to up and he was missing a lot of doubles. He, he did let me in a little bit, but just thought I missed the ball. I don't know what finish it was, but I just hit the big nine and then Lego a double eight, and it just went sweet, isn't that? And I was like, oh. and it's like, uh, like that's it, like done. So yeah, I've I've had some bad. I played Glenn at um, at Lakeside and probably should have beat him, but the other two games, the other one I was crap against Willem and and. Who was it last year? Denny or the car. I was just struggling from a broken foot and I didn't really have enough preparation. But this time I've had a lot of preparation and I feel really good about myself. You hear a lot of players say it, but was Q School last year your, your best decision in your adulting life? Yeah, it was always going to happen. I always wanted to play for Wales in the World Cup. And as it goes, a lot, I broke my foot on the very last day. But we won the World Cup and, and it just put it, it was it was on the way. It was on the way out and it snapped on the last, it was at the banquet it was. But we won the team event and I was like, you know, captain of Wales, because I'm a normal captain, Mark Layton was in there, but that's no better feeling and a lot of people say, play for your country is the best. And now, as soon as I got my, my tour card, Gezi's messaged me a couple of years, me and you in the World Cup. And I was like, oh, maybe, but Johnny's a bit too good at the moment. So, but yeah, yeah, that, you know, no regrets. And I want to stay here forever now. There's no going back. Thank you very much for your time, Nick. Cheers.